Hey guys, I am so sorry. I have not made any videos in a really long time. Um, my last video said that I was moving to Myrtle Beach and I did move down there. I was there for about six weeks and uh, I found the listing on Craigslist and this lady like I don't know, we were like Skyping and emailing and Facebooking the whole time before I moved down there. And she turned out to be this crazy, controlling, psychotic lady. And, you know, I was going to make some videos while I was down there, but I just like, I worked the whole time I was down there. I worked and, you know, I just didn't get around to it. Um, but... I should have known that this lady was going to be like this. She basically was acting like my mom. And, you know, she was about she was about twice my age. But she was also my landlord slash, like, roommate. Because she owned the unit. Um, it was a condo complex, so she owned the unit. She owned a few of the other units. And she just, like... Like, I should have known that she was going to do this because, first of all, I didn't even want to move until middle to end of April. And she got me to move the end at the end of February, which was soon, but financially I could do it. So the only reason I agreed was because I wanted to go as soon as possible. Like, I was ready to go. So I moved out of my old place on February 23rd. And then um, my best friend Cheryl and her husband and her dad came down with me and they helped me move all my stuff and everything. And, you know, my friend Cheryl has an aunt and uncle that actually live in Columbia, South Carolina. It's like three miles off the um, coast. And we stayed, we stayed a night down there and then I actually moved to like into my new place on the 24th. So the first like two or three days I was down there, my friend stayed with me. We did a bunch of fun things. We went out to eat, you know, da da da. We did the beach, all that. It was fun. So then after she left, um, I think I started work the following week. I wanted to take like a few more days off and get, you know, settled in. I took about a week off total or a week and a half to get like settled in and, you know, just get to know the area, do some more fun things, shopping, all that fun stuff. So, um, two weeks after I moved in, um, this lady, her name is Wendy. She was like, well, you have to buy a car. She's like, I told you before you got down here that, you know, transportation was going to be an issue. And I'm like, um, no, I'm not going to buy a car until I've been down here for at least two or three months. And... She just, like, started looking at cars on Craigslist, not even listening to what I was telling her. Um, finally, I was like, all right, well, maybe, you know, I can do 1100 or something like that if we find a good deal. So she starts looking at cars that are double that. And I'm like, you need to stop. So finally, like, I went with it at first with, like, her controlling. I went with it at first, but, like, I, I told her, like, I don't know. I didn't really go with it. I just was polite, but not a pushover, I guess is the best way to say it. But then towards the end, I got so pissed off with her. I just told her to fuck off. So she started with telling me I need to buy a car, and I was like, I guess, or whatever. But then when she started looking at double what I set my budget to be, I was like, all right, you know what? We're not going to get a car. Like, I'm not doing that. And then I was like, I was like, um, I can do a moped like I can get a moped because there are so many people down there that ride mopeds So then she's like, oh, well, like she started flipping out. She's like Well, I guess it's okay if you drive it on the sidewalk and I'm like, okay, first of all I wasn't asking your permission second of all. It wasn't a question third of all you're not my mother and Fourthly, you're not allowed to drive them on the sidewalk down there because you have to have a biker's permit. So, like, 
she just got all pissed off with me, like, and then she tried to get me to dress a certain way, like, because she was, she just turned 60 last November, so she tried to get me to dress in, like, old grandma clothes or whatever, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that, fuck you. So then she, um, she tried to get me to eat what she ate, and actually I was okay with that because we're both vegan. So I was, like, open to trying new foods and everything, so I didn't care about that. I was like, that's cool. And then she tried to get me to, like, buy certain products, like the toiletries that I buy. She didn't like it because they weren't cruelty-free. And, like, I'm all about cruelty-free. I love animals. And, some like, a lot of the products I do buy are cruelty-free. But if they're out of my budget, like, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. And she got so mad at me because I told her I only buy certain cruelty-free products unless I find a good sale on them. And she just, like, would get pissy about that. And then, like, it just went on and on and on. And finally, when I told her to fuck off, she gave me a notice to vacate. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So, um, she gave me a notice to vacate, like two weeks into the month of March and um, it was March 14th I think is when she gave me the notice to vacate and then so I guess from there to April 14th or no it was March 15th to April 5th to April 15th was the 30 day period that I had to leave so then um, I was paying my rent um, I was paying it monthly versus my old place, which was bi-weekly. So then she was going to, like, prorate the rent for me for the two, first two weeks of April. And I was just, ba like, I didn't tell her, like, fuck you, I'm not going to pay the rent. But what I did was I left on March 31st. And I, well, I left the last day, March, March 31st, I think it was. And I didn't tell her until, like, the night before that my friend Cheryl was coming to get me the following morning. Because I wasn't about to give this bitch any more fucking money. Like, fuck that. So, I just, like, I left or whatever. And I couldn't get my old apartment back up here in Ohio. Like, I really didn't want to go, honestly. I did not want to go. Um, I tried everything I could to stay down there. I looked into, um like moving elsewhere close to my job like I loved it down there other than dealing with her I absolutely had a complete blast down there and I loved it it was great um but you know like I just you know like I I wanted to live by myself I was open to to having another roommate but to live by yourself it's going to be about a thousand dollars a month for a studio apartment down there it's extremely expensive. So, you know, I couldn't afford $1,000 a month. And I did look into, you know, sharing another condo or even like a trailer with somebody. And I just didn't want to have it be like another bad situation. So, you know, I just decided to come back home, unfortunately. I felt like that was the best decision. And, you know, I, I don't like it. And... You know, I wish I had never moved down there in the first place. I feel like it should have just been, like, a vacation or whatever. But, like, I knew it was expensive to live down there, but I didn't know it was that expensive. So, I don't know. I'm going to try again, but probably not for, like, another year or so. Um, This apartment that I moved into... It's um, right down, it's actually closer to my job. I got my old job back at McDonald's, and I'm actually closer now than I was in my old place. This place is, it's in a high rise. I'm on the top floor, which I love. But, um, like, the building takes really good care of, like, the units and everything. But some of the units are owned individually by, like, lease, by, like, uh, land like landlords or whatever or like leasing agencies mine is owned by a leasing agency and the guy that is the leasing agent also owns the agency and he's an attorney and I ended up having to 
go through the city because he moved me into an apartment with a broken water heater. Now, he told me about this before, like when I was still down in Myrtle Beach, he was like, yeah, the water heater's broken, just to let you know, I'm having it fixed. He's like, I already bought the new one, and I'm having it delivered. And he's like, and this was on like a Thursday or Friday before I moved. He's like, I'm going to have it delivered um, the following Monday and installed. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's cool. And I don't usually trust people, especially people I don't know, but I, w I didn't have a choice, you know. I had to. So then after I moved, it was like, oh, I'll have it installed on this day. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have it installed before you move be or before you um, start your new job. And it was just excuse after excuse after excuse. And I'm like, he's never going to repair my water heater. So that's what ended up happening. Um, luckily, I remembered to ask him if I could have the spare key to the other unit that I almost took, which... I should have taken that unit, even though it's teeny, teeny, tiny, like the size of a hotel room. <laughs> it's a lot more functional than this one is. This this apartment that I have right now is huge. But, I mean, it's huge and it's functional until I need to take a shower. So And then I have to go to the other unit. But, you know, that's how I shower, by going to the other unit. Um, There's so much that, like, needs done with this place. I ended up having to take pictures of everything, make a huge list. I went through the city, opened an escrow account, and paid my rent to the city. The court date is set on March 31st. Or, March 31st. May 31st. Um, so, I'm hoping I didn't have to wait that long because um, I paid the rent to the city on May 1st. And I was, like, I was told I would only have to wait a week. But... This guy, like, he should know better. He's a freaking attorney. So, I don't know. But, anyways, I appreciate all my subscribers for sticking with me. You know, I'm really sorry that I haven't made any videos in a really long time. I will have more coming up, I promise. I've been getting into, like, DIYs and crafting a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do any videos on those, but... Um, I will always have nail videos, like tutorials, and I will always have, um, hauls. Uh, mostly from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, excuse me, and I might do some more Shop Miss A hauls, because I was looking on there, on their website the past couple days. So, um, yeah, but anyways... Lesson learned. I should have just taken a vacation. But yeah. So, um, thank you guys for subscribing. If you're new here, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And hit the subscribe button. And feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.